Did you know that you can get pregnant the first time you have sex? 50% of young people in Sri Lanka don't have basic knowledge about sexual and reproductive health. Stigma and shame keep most young people from seeking accurate information from official sources, which puts their sexual and reproductive health at risk. The number of new HIV cases identified among 15 to 24-year-olds in Sri Lanka has been increasing over the past years. Sri Lanka's national teenage pregnancy rate is also at 4.6%, with higher rates of 5 to 8% reported in the North and East. The health of young people is a fundamental human right, and access to information and services on SRH is a cornerstone of young people's transitions to adulthood. The Ministry of Health, Nutrition and Indigenous Medicine, with the support of UNFPA, reviewed its National Family Planning Program in 2017 to identify better ways to address Sri Lanka's changing context and target high-risk and vulnerable groups. The review identified dispelling myths and misconceptions about family planning as an immediate priority. Addressing these, since 2019, the Promises Project, which is a UNFPA initiative funded by the Government of Japan, has worked on improving access to information and services on SRH for women and young people in Sri Lanka. One of the key focus areas of the Promises Project is making SRH services and information more accessible for young people and training healthcare workers to work with youth-friendly health centres. Through the Promises Project, over 65 women and youth-friendly health centres were resourced and equipped with contraceptives and medical equipment, a crucial need in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. Over 440 field health staff were trained on sexual and reproductive health and gender-based violence. 650 healthcare service providers and police officers were trained through women and youth-friendly health centre orientation programmes. Over 30 youth-friendly health clinics were strengthened through digital infrastructure support. Over 270 training instructors were trained and over 243 teachers, educators and in-service advisors were trained on guiding young people on basic sexual and reproductive health issues as life skills. Almost all the trainings were conducted online using ICT equipment procured through the project without any disruptions due to the pandemic. Through the Promises Project, UNFPA, together with its partners, will continue to work on ensuring the sexual and reproductive health of all vulnerable groups in Sri Lanka.